Um, so, which country do you come from? Uh, well, I myself come from the Netherlands, but I think in this video I represent Spain. Oh, okay, would there be a difference between the Netherlands and Spain in how they understand dyslexia? Um, possibly yes, but I, I'm not 100% sure about it. But I, I would yeah. be inclined to say yes, that there possibly will be a, a difference in understanding and dealing with dyslexia. I wouldn't say treating dyslexia, yeah. it can't be treated, but dealing with dyslexia. Yeah. Okay, so in the Spanish context, um, could you give me a rough idea of how well, uh, how well Spanish dyslexia assessors understand dyslexia? Is there consistency between the different regions of Spain? Um, the, depends on the level of, of assessors that you that you would talk to, I guess, because if if it's the true assessors, so to speak, I would probably say yes. If you talk about politician, uh, politicians, political level, I would probably say no, uh, because everybody tries to understand in a different way, or wants to understand in a different way, or looks at it in a different way. Um, some regions maybe don't look at it as much as, as other regions. Um, and it really comes up, the thing in Spain usually is it really comes down to the professional themselves. And, and since in Spain it's usually up to teachers or, um, or, or SEMCOs, um, it, and they're not fully trained for dyslexia or for detecting or, or even seeing dyslexia. It really comes down to them training themselves and looking for upskilling to, to be able to, um, to assess their, their students. Yeah, and Spain is what you might call a, a federal country, I mean, it, yeah. in one yeah. sense at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in that sense, sense yes, yeah. you could definitely yeah. say. Yeah. Do you have one national body of dyslexia, as a, one national dyslexia association? Yeah, or yeah. Do you, you do. Yeah. And, and you yeah. don't have different bodies in Catalonia, for instance? Or, uh, there, there is a national federation, uh, FEDIS, of, of dyslexia, the National Federation of uh, Dyslexia. Um, but then on regional level, uh, edu education is organised more on regional level, so each region organises it and caters for it probably in a different way and measures it in a different way as well. And the thing is, if you if you do field research and if you look at all the the guides that are being produced by different regions in Spain, you, you'd be inclined to say, oh my god, this is very nice for dyslexics. Um, and then when you when you look at the, the reality, when you when you speak to students, when you speak to parents and when you speak to teachers, you, you realise it's absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing is what, polit what politics would like to happen, or, or say that happens, and, and something completely different is the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, this is interesting because you set up, you run a language school and you yeah. set up, is it like a project within that language school or a, a branch of that language school called This Is English that, that teaches dyslexic students? Yeah, exactly. Um, it, yeah, exactly. Is this common among language schools no. in, in Spain? No. So basically what happened is that when we, when I was working on the Sand Toolkit project um, in the pandemic, one day it just occurred to me, well, basically the question occurred to me like, okay, if, if learning in general is difficult for, for students with dyslexia, what about language learning, what about English learning in, in our case? So I started um, investigating, started looking around if there is anyone catering for these students in Spain and I couldn't find anything. And then I started talking to the students and talking to the parents and they said they couldn't find anything, that there was basically nothing, nothing out there. And then I said, well, would you be interested? And they said, oh, hell yes, we would be interested in something like this. So this is when it all starts. And no, there, there, is, there is nothing really out there um, for, for these students. And, and we see this because we have students from all over Spain. 